I'm doing great. I'm doing good. I feel good. And I just needed a few more days to rest up. It was a game time decision and I went out there and didn't feel good. I was lightheaded and had a, a little headache. So I just decided that it'd be best if I, if I didn't play. So I feel good today. Yesterday and today I felt great. So I'm excited. How much of that was uh, your decision just being like, hey, I got to make sure I take care of it, you know, because with concussions, obviously, it's a big thing right now. I mean, it was all my decision. I pass all the tests. And so um, Really, they, they couldn't tell me that I couldn't go. And so I just throughout the week, my symptoms came back and I didn't, I didn't feel good. And just talked to my family and my teammates and I just felt like I, I shouldn't go. How hard was it to be on the sideline for that, that particular it was, game? It was probably the hardest thing that I've done. Just because it was, I mean, yeah, I decided not to play. And I mean, it was hard. It was hard not playing and being out there with my guys. Did it make it that much harder seeing the success Utah had, Houston had offensively? Um, yeah, but I think more than that, just being out there with, with the guys that I, I train with and, and play with, it was, it was just hard seeing them out there without me. How much more fun is it going to be to get back then for, for Boise if you're feeling good now? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be extremely fun. It's going to be a good atmosphere with a good team. And I mean, yeah, I haven't, basically I haven't played for two games, so I'm really excited to, and anxious to get out there. Have you guys looked at what they were, able, what Houston was able to do to kind of gash it for some of those big plays and, and how to fix some of those 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 uh, those holes? Yeah, we definitely evaluated and, and saw what they had done, and I mean, it was it was basically all on us and just assignment mistakes. So um, we're we're doing what we can to fix those things, and and we're hoping that the those big plays won't happen again. What's Boise gonna do? Um, I mean, they run a lot of plays and they've been successful at it, so. Um, we're expecting to, to see it pretty similar to, to Utah State and the tempo like Houston they could run. I mean, they, I think they had a game they ran over 100 plays. So um, they have an up-tempo team and they have good players and a good scheme. So They've got a quarterback that you don't have a whole lot to look at. What, what do you see as far as, as Grant and Hedrick go? I mean, he's a Division One quarterback. And the film that I've seen on him is a good athlete. I think he rushed for like 140 yards against um, Nevada. And I mean, we're expecting to see a good quarterback. and. And that's what we're preparing for, so that's what we expect when we when we go out and play them on Friday. Quick, talk about their offensive scheme. What kind of scheme do they run? I think Houston ran a very similar offensive scheme to, to what you see here at BYU. But talk about Boise State's offensive scheme. What do they do well? Yeah, well, I mean, just like I said, they're doing them. It's similar to, to Utah State, and um, it's a little different than last year just because they're running a lot more up-tempo, and they run a lot of gadgets. You see within the 30, 30 yards and in, they run a lot of trick plays, and they do different formations. and. Um, just stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah. Do you like this notion that you have to start on special teams before you start on offense or defense? How do the players like that kind of philosophy that Bronco has? I mean, we like it. It's special teams. If, like me personally, I love punt, and that's what I'm on. I'm on punt and uh, punt return, and I love being on punt. It's a chance to go down there and make a play, and it's it's huge to the success of our team. And so, I mean, if. Yeah, I mean, I think that everyone's buying into it and has bought into it, and that's that's why we've had success on um, a lot of our special teams. You just like having another excuse to hit somebody. Don't yeah, you? definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Speaking of which, will this concussion will that slow you down at all in, in that aspect of your game? Or? No, it won't. And that's I mean, that's another reason that was a, a factor in me not playing is because I was hesitant in in my decision on playing, and so. Um, I'm not the type of player that's going to go out there and just go half-heartedly or when it comes to making a play or a big hit, I'm not going to back down. And so um, I wanted to, to make sure that I, I was on the field and was able to help my team and, and not hold anything back. And so that's, that's not going to be a factor. You mentioned those trick plays. Do you like going up against a team that's going to you know, try and fool you and try and do some <laughs> of those, those tricky things? Uh, I don't know if I necessarily like it, but I'm not scared of it. And I don't think anyone on our defense is. I mean. Those things happen. Like um, the coach at Boise State's a good coach, and he's been running. I mean, different plays for a long time, and so um, it's exciting to go against. So you just have to prepare really well and, and expect those things to happen. Seven six loss last year. This year, Coach Ben Hall said that the offense might be a little bit more different this year. Maybe a little bit more scoring this year. Um, what would it mean to you to send these seniors out having beat Boise State this 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 one this this time? I mean, it'd be big, especially, I mean, yeah, for the seniors, but especially for the goals of our team this year is winning at home. And unfortunately, we, we lost to Utah at home, but 
I mean, we still have a chance to um, to go out there and play on our home field and win. And so, I mean, it's going to be big for our seniors, but more importantly, it's going to be big for our team and the, the goals that we have for the rest of the season. Speaking of that a little bit, two more games here at LES. Does that kind of play into your guys' psyche, motivation, preparation a little bit, knowing that, you know, you really have only a couple more chances now to play in front of the home fans for the season? Yeah, I mean, definitely it's, I mean, it's it's kind of a bummer. Two more games. The season's gone by fast at home. And so, yeah, we just have to take advantage of it. And it's it's an honor to play in front of, well, just to be in, in that stadium. And I mean, there's been a lot of players that have played there and had, had success. And so um, it's fun being out there and we have to take advantage of it.